Hey, what's going on, everybody? A ton of updates I want to cover with Crypto.com. The first, the CRO staking rates have officially changed. I'll go into that. The $50 reward is officially over too. I'm going to explain, is that something you should still participate in to share this with others? Is $25 for you and the other person still a good deal? I'm also doing a giveaway, which I'm going to explain how that works, giving away $50 in CRO. And my early swap bonus was returned to me today. So this this was that swap bonus that if you swapped MCO to CRO in the first month, you got extra CRO. I'm going to explain what I'm going to do with this 3,440 CRO. So the election is coming up. I think there's going to be some potentially choppy times ahead. And I want to share with you what I'm going to do with this money. So let's start out with this giveaway I'm doing. Go ahead and click the link below when this video is over. I'm going to give you guys 24 hours. Then I'm going to turn this off. Enter your first name, your email, and a number between 1 and 2,000. On my next video, I'm going to pick a random number between 1 and 2,000 via a random number generator online, and the five people who are the closest are going to win $10 in CRO. So link below to that. It'll take you right to this form, and it'll take you two seconds to fill out. So opening up my wallet, you can see the crypto earn history right here. This ended today, the 3,440 CRO for $291. You can see that it was withdrawn today from the crypto earn to my crypto.com wallet right here. So what I'm going to do with the CRO is actually buy some USDC with it, USD coin. Just because the election's coming up, I think that we can have another dip. I want to have some USDC in my crypto.com wallet, which is a very, very easy way to buy crypto. So I'm just going to sell 4,000 CRO for $338.58. I'll do that right now. And I'll click confirm. And that's it. You sold 4,000 CRO. And you can see right here, I have $338.58 USDC. So this is like gunpowder that I can immediately deploy if the markets go down, which honestly, guys, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, everyone's projecting what they think is going to happen. Ultimately, nobody has any freaking clue what's going to happen to the markets, to equities and to crypto. And having a little bit of USDC or whatever stablecoin you want to use on a platform like crypto.com or like an exchange that you really like is a really good thing to do in times that you know are going to be very, very turbulent. So now let's talk about this $50 referral fee going down to $25. So this officially ended, it said effective November 1st, 2020. And do I think this is still a good opportunity if you want to share it with others or if you have not yet pulled the trigger on a card, do I still think this is a really, really good offer? So you're going to get that $25 when you stay take 2,500 CRO or these higher level cards. So right now, 2,500 CRO at a price of 8.4 cents is just around $210. So for $210, you are going to get $25 for free. Now, remember that $25, you can actually withdraw immediately. You can convert to USDC. You can convert it to Bitcoin. The $210 or the 2,500 CRO, this is going to be staked for six months. So that you cannot touch, but the $25 bonus, you can touch immediately and you can sell. You can actually like withdraw it directly into your bank account and just cash out if you wanted to. Do I think that's still a good ratio of how much you have to invest into a crypto and how much you get back? Yeah, I do. Receiving $25 for investing $210 into a crypto is still a very, very good deal. And with other news with Crypto.com, there was a Crypto.com exchange maintenance that was completed. The tweet that came out three hours ago says, we are pleased to inform you that the scheduled system maintenance is now complete. All services have resumed on the crypto.com exchange. Thank you for your patience. I believe they are improving and switching things up for the supercharger. You know, this is not what a scam company does. And I know I talked about this before. People argue with me in the comments. That's totally fine. There is a difference between an actual scam, like a Ponzi scheme, versus a company that may not be doing the best thing in the interest of the customers, which I could argue that crypto.com is not customer centric. They are increasing their numbers to potentially get a buyout and potentially just sell it off. So all of these updates they are doing, all the new events, the supercharger, etc. All this stuff is not something that a company that is a scam or a Ponzi would be doing right now. They would have already left. So if crypto.com has a goal of say selling to like a big tech company like PayPal, guess what? PayPal is going to do such a thorough audit of every single piece of their business 
if they find anything that looks suspicious, they're not going to buy it. So for me personally, and again, you can disagree. I think that crypto.com is not just wanting to sell out and just like screw everybody. That wouldn't be a way for them to sell their company in the future. Good CPAs and good auditors would be able to see through that, be like, oh, okay, you're just inflating the amount of customers, inflating the profits, inflating everything just to get somebody to buy your company. We can see right through this, guys. So I don't think that's what they're doing at all. Again, feel free to disagree. I know that the price of the coin is disappointing. I totally get it. I don't want to see this go down to four or five cents. Nobody does. Uh, if it does, I will actually be buying more because again, I don't see this company as a scam. I just see them as doing things that aren't in the best interest of the customers right now. I think there's just a disconnect between the corporate side and the customer side. I think their intentions are just different, but that's different than being a company that is totally scamming every single one of you. I think there's a big difference there. And since my last video, there have been a few other updates. So Crypto.com names Tiana Baker Taylor as general manager of the UK. So the former global digital finance exec director and HSBC executive joins the team to lead local licensing efforts and regulatory relationships. She is the vice chair of the Blockchain for Europe board and has held senior strategy, communications, and marketing positions at HSBC and City, two very large companies. She was named as the Regulatory and Governance Leader of the Year with Finance Monthly's 2020 Women in Finance Awards, which ranks 100 of the most successful and forward-thinking women within the financial industry from across the globe. So it's stories like this that make me feel very very confident in crypto.com. They would not be headhunting people who worked at HSBC and City to come to a company that they know they're about to just exit and bail on people. It doesn't make sense to me. So if this makes sense to you, let me know in the comments because I could be wrong, but this just does not scream scam to me. So guys, let me know what you think as always about the video, about my thoughts about crypto.com. What are you doing right now in preparation for the election? I would love to hear what you are doing right now if you are holding some stable coins on the side in preparation for some crazy prices. Really, guys, I can see Bitcoin jumping up to $16,000. I can see Bitcoin dropping below $10,000. And at the end of the day, I want to end the video with this. It doesn't matter what happens to the price of cryptocurrency short term. It really does not matter what happens to the price of Bitcoin or what happens to the price of good projects. We are talking about a long term plan to get mass adoption into the crypto space and price swings of 20, 30, 40% do not matter. So that is it, guys. Make sure to click the link below to participate in the giveaway. So until next time, guys, talk with you soon and bye for now.